This is an APAC Studio presentation. Hello, friends. My name is Dick Williams. I'll be your modest and unassuming narrator of this radio sketch. But spoiler alert, in the end, it does turn out that I'm pretty awesome. Here now is audio from a recent meeting between me, Dick Williams, CEO of Reels on Wheels Radio Productions, Blair Wilson, CEO of Blair 2 Air Voiceover Productions, plus Tim Morgan, mostly not funny YouTube personality and failed radio comic. Following a recent accident in his home, Tim asked to meet with Blair and I to discuss the meaning of life, the universe, and, I don't know, some pretty deep shit. I wasn't really paying attention. Anyway, if you haven't already tuned out or clicked on some fucking cat video, then here's the sketch. Hey, Dick. Hey, Blair. Thanks for coming out to meet with me. No problem, Tim. Anything for a former co-worker... Is this place licensed? Because I could really go for a strawberry stripper. Dick, it's a little family street-side lunch bistro. I don't think it has a liquor license. Liquor license? Anyway, guys, I think there might be something wrong with me. A couple of weeks back, I was doing the morning routine, getting the kids ready for school and daycare. I was coming down the stairs, went almost at the bottom. I slipped. I smashed up both my forearms as I tried to catch the walls hit the back of my neck on the edge of one of the steps before landing on the floor nearly paralyzed in pain. Wow. Well, lucky you didn't break your neck. Yeah, I know. But what I'm saying is, that that was a couple of weeks ago, and I'm still sore. Well, that's to be expected. Yeah, you're not as young as you used to be. Well, I'm only 39. Yeah, right. So am I. How many times have you turned 39, Tim? Blair, this is my first time. Tim, when I was a young radio DJ man, I could fall downstairs out of a speeding getaway car or off one of the radio station's female summer events girls and be right back up, none the worse for wear, within minutes. In my younger radio newsman days, I once got hit by a station transmitter tower when it fell over on top of me. And you were okay? Well, I got a scar on my forehead and a steel girder permanently lodged in my spleen, but other than that, I'm pretty okay. Radio powers fade with time, Tim. And job outsourcing. Radio powers? What do you mean? Many radio station employees gain impressive superpowers, but like I said, they fade as you get older. And job outsourcing. Well, I was a creative director at a commercial radio station. In fact, one time at another station, I worked as both creative and production director. I don't remember ever having superpowers. I forgot, you aren't exactly radio in the same way Blair and I are radio. What? We're real radio people, Tim. Dick and I are on-air people. I was on-air too? Live on the air? Sometimes, but mostly I pre-recorded the feed and fertilizer Saturday afternoon show. Yeah, that doesn't count. I started out as a radio advertising sales rep. I guess that doesn't count either. Wait a minute, you worked as a sales rep? Didn't you gain the ability to fly, change form, and grow a pair of retractable fangs? Yeah, all bloodsuckers? I mean, advertising sales reps get those powers? Apparently they do, Blair. Come to think of it, though, that would explain why most sales reps work in cubicles away from sunlight. But in my case, no. No vampiric powers for me. Let me guess, you were an honest sales rep. Yeah? Mystery solved. Why have you not shot yourself yet? Tim, you work in campus radio now. Don't campus radio employees have any superpowers? Well, I do have the ability to avoid paying my student loans while simultaneously destroying my credit rating. See? There you go. Okay. Thanks for the pep talk, guys. Just try to be more careful on the stairs from now on, Tim. If we're done here, I'm going to go get drunk and have some sex. Classy dick. Classy. So, friends, the moral of today's story is always empty the lint tray in your dryer to avoid house fires. I guess that's the moral. Look, I told you I wasn't paying attention. Maybe it's don't get a job in radio. You know, unless you're me. Or maybe it's nothing lasts forever, or maybe it's make sure you put that sticky traction tape shit on your stairs so you don't slip and die. 
Anyway, I'm Dick fucking Williams, and you're not. Good night. This has been a presentation from Tim Morgan's APAC Studio. For more almost professional amateur comic studio content, visit the APAC YouTube channel. Search APAC 2002. That's A-P-A-C 2002 on YouTube.